my Suzuki GSX 750F. Yeah, kind of the air box to begin with. I could see that some rings already been glued. I'm gonna look into that. In the meantime, what I can do, I could take the air filter in itself out. Just take a screwdriver and pull it out. Okay, so the arrow points it towards the top. I'm uh, just gonna take my air filter out. You can see it's nasty. You can see it's rusty. So I really want a new one. It's a sealant. But coming off. Uh, so I'm gonna put the bolts back in. have a look inside of the air box you can see that it's a bit dirty as well so I can take it inside and have a really good wash just gonna remove this foam piece that's uh, meant to be on the edge between the air filter and the air box uh, little sponge a bit of fair liquid oh, yeah. a good wash with a shower Box nice and clean, or the leakage hose nice and clean, and then dry out. Well, next thing we just reconnect the tube, reconnect the clamp, and maybe just give a little extra wipe for the little tiny bits that I missed while it was wet. So, as you can see, the air box seal and the rubber is just um, all foamy stuff. She's completely breaking apart, so am I gonna get something new put in there? Alright, so this tube is to collect all the petrol, um, get the shoots out from the camps, and obviously then it lands down and instead of leaking on the floor and potentially catching fire, it just catches up there and stores it. This is why I found a lot of really old petrol in there when I cleaned it. But I managed to clean it because I had like a little hole in there in a warmer time. I think it's not supposed to be there, so I'm going to use fantastic elastic glue, which is just basically a very rubbery glue. And I should seal it this hole really well. At the same time, might as well, you can see that there's a glue that's holding these rubbers inside of the plastic from the factory. And some of that glue is quite dried out. Then I apply just the same elastic, fantastic, and um, just to make sure that it's all proper sealed. So this glue is not like a super glue; it's more like liquid rubber. It's likely to crack, which is kind of the ideal. 
So it's just gonna go out after every single one. And that's a very good example of what's happening with the old glue, 30 years old glue. You can see sliding around. I think what's left to do is to restore these little parts here. I went to my local hardware store and found these uh, foam bits. Uh, look at that, perfect fit. That's my airbox arrived. Let's get into the box. Right, so now to install the new filter, we can see the arrow forward which is pointing to the top. At the same time, these top bits are a little bit more narrow and these ones are wider, which is, you can see there with the screws. It does make it less confusing. At the same time, if you remember, I did had something stuck around here, which was like a little foam protecting piece. So if we have a look at the original filter bomb, you can see that there is a nice wide opening. In the new filter, however, we have exactly the same foam piece, which is brilliant. Alright, let's put that filter in. Let's take these bolts out. And let's pick up this uh, reproduction filter that fits just perfectly in. Oh, look at that. Nice, fresh feeling. Let's see where all the lines lined up. The only thing I would recommend is to use a tiny bit of a copper and seize grease on the bolts. Uh, simply as that will avoid uh, bolts of seizing it up. Uh, just a tiny amount is good enough. Just put even on the side ones over here at the same time. First I'm just getting those bolts into place. Once I feel the resistance I stop. And now once all the bolts are in, I'm gonna start tightening them up. So tighten this one up. Tighten one in the opposite direction, tighten another one in the opposite direction. And this is how I go on the crosshead pattern. So this um, box is restored to its former glory. As you can see that hole is nicely disappeared now. We have brand new uh, filter inside. It's uh, very nice and clean, replaced uh, missing pads, the roof pad is still fine, the top pad and uh, all of these are glued nicely into place and they're not moving as before. A good tip is to write it down in the mileage when the filters are replaced. So my one is 27,515 miles Oh, three 2021 This way next time uh, when someone's have a look at the filter you know when it was replaced and hopefully we'll never get to the stage like this